Soccer gets a huge win on the road. In an exciting week for football. All this and more on the Penguin Rundown. Welcome into a spooky rendition of Penguin Rundown. I'm John Ostopowitz alongside my colleague and newcomer, Taziah Howard. And there has been a lot of sports, not only home, but on the road this week. Taziah, it was homecoming weekend here at Youngstown State University. Yes, sir, John. A lot of festivities going on Friday through Sunday. We got to see a lot of teams between the football team, the volleyball team. Great wins for our football team bouncing back for our volleyball team. Yeah, and we also saw that huge game winner by Lestavka, and we're really going to talk about that as this past Saturday, the YSU football team successfully defended the Ice Castle in their homecoming game victory against Illinois State, 41-38. to Senior Mitch Davison set a career high in passing for 203 yards and four touchdowns as redshirt freshman C.J. Charleston Joey Farthing and seniors Bryce Oliver and Dre Rushton were all on the receiving end of Davison's touchdowns. Senior Marcus Hooker and junior Alex Howard both recorded nine tackles for the Penguins with Howard leading the team with nine tackles and two tackles for loss. Redshirt freshman Andrew Lestavka stepped up in a big way for the Gwens by kicking the game winning field goal from 37 yards out. Youngstown State will host Missouri State at the Ice Castle on Saturday, October 28th. The game is scheduled to start at 2 p.m. Now to relive that monstrous kick by Andrew Lestavka, let's send it over to Bryce Noel for your Penguin Player of the Week. Thanks, guys. This week's Penguin Player of the Week goes to none other than freshman kicker Andrew Lestavka for his game-winning 37-yard field goal in last Saturday's game against Illinois State. Let's take a look. And as, and as we have eight seconds left to go in the ball game, Brendan Kilpatrick takes the snap, places the ball down, and it sails through the uprights, and the kick is good. YSU would go on to win the contest 41-38. to Congratulations to Mr. Andrew Lestavka for winning this week's Penguin Player of the Week. John and Tazaya, back to you guys. The YSU volleyball team had two Horizon League matches for home over the weekend. From October 20th through the October 21st against Cleveland State and Oakland. Against the Vikings, the Penguins were unable to keep it together, losing the match three sets to one. YSU had a higher hitting percentage and four more blocks compared to Cleveland State. Helping the cause was freshman Gabriella Machen, who led the team with 10 kills and five blocks. The following night against Oakland, the Oakland Golden Grizzlies, the Penguins were unable to keep any momentum in the match and were swept three sets to none. Untimely errors were the downfall for YSU, as the Penguins totaled five service errors and 24 attack errors. Junior Jasmine Faraga led the match in kills with 11. The Penguins started their last road trip on the season last night in the matchup against Northern Kentucky University. For more on final results, visit YSUsports.com. The YSU women's soccer team looks to make a run at the Horizon League tournament as the regular season draws to a conclusion. The team's most recent game was on October 21st when they went on the road to Green Bay, Wisconsin to play the Green Bay Phoenix. Before sophomore Chloe Weiland broke the tie with an unassisted goal from outside the box, the game went 25 minutes without a goal. Weiland scored her third goal of the season, tying sophomore Taylor Berry for the team lead. Four minutes later, in the 29th minute, graduate student Jordan Evans scored with help from first-year student Emma Birdner. Birdner scored her second assist of the season, and Evans scored her second goal of the year. The game ended with no more goals scored, giving the Penguins a 2-0 win. With the win, the Penguins are now 7-6-3 overall and 3-4-2 in the Horizon League this season. This is the team's last regular season game at 7 p.m. on October 5th, 25th at Farmers National Bank Field against Robert Morris University. For the Penguins to sneak into the playoffs, they would have to defeat the Colonials and rely on Oakland to beat 
or tie with Detroit Mercy to secure the sixth seed in the Horizon League tournament. To watch the regular season finale, check out ESPN Plus or go to YSUSports.com for live scores and more. The Youngstown State men's tennis team competed in a three-day tournament at the ITA Midwest Regionals in Ann Harbor, Michigan. Overall, the Penguins would do well at the two-day game. There were three winners in the single tournament on Thursday. Nathan Favier won the matchup 2-1. Ander Balsi won the two matchups, won two matchups to one. And Asie Peña Ibanez won two matchups to one. That winning streak carried over to Friday's double matches where two groups came away with the win. After beating groups from Wisconsin and Illinois, Clement Mangui and Favier would get two wins. Michigan State's Luke Bayless and Josh Portnoy, Portnoy would lose to Balsi and Nishant Diblis 8-5. Again this weekend, the men will be competing in the Viking Invitational at Cleveland State. Weekend is October 27th through the October 29th, and you can find more scores on YSUSports.com. The women's tennis team competed in the Cleveland State Viking Invitational over the weekend. Their opponents would be Duquesne, Cleveland State, and Eastern Michigan. There were a total of 10 wins in the singles tournament. Three of them went to Lyme Grayling, Julia Marco, and Yensena over Choka. The Gwens won all five doubles matches with Marco and Ovacharvo leading the way with wins over Duquesne. And Dylan Lux at the round table. Hey everybody, it's Freshly Squeezed, Caleb Ellison here alongside Bully Lux. And uh, Lux here, we're going to be talking about some sports. The one with um, the dribbling, you know. Soccer. No, 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 dribble uh, with your hands, with your hands. Basketball. Basketball, that's the one, thank you. Men's basketball to be specific. And a, uh, reflecting back to last season, if it's going to be anything like this season, it's going to be a fun time to be a Penguins fan. I'd prefer to talk about the women's team, but... They don't pay me for that. So last year, men's team had a 24-10 and 10 overall record and 15-5 and 5 in the conference. They won the regular season championship in the Horizon League for the first time ever. Uh, a lot of guys graduated and transferred out. Dwayne Cohill, Adrian Nelson, Jalen Green, all gone from the team. They made the semifinals in the Horizon League tournament after they beat Detroit Mercy in the Big Blue Center. Then they fell to Northern Kentucky and Indianapolis, who went on to win the whole friggin' thing and they made the bracket of 64 and played Houston in the first round. The team brought in 12 new members, only three returning players. Caleb, I know you know a lot about those guys. Yeah, those new players you mentioned, 12 total, seven transferring in from a four-year institution, one junior college pickup, and then four true freshmen. One of those transfer guys I want to talk about is senior Ziggy Reed, transferring in from Merrimack College. He is a forward, and that's when you've been noticing a lot with these new players. The majority of them are forwards. During the 2022-23 season, he was second on the Merrimack team in total points scored, 483 total, and then averaged 14.2 points per game. He led that Merrimack team in total minutes played, so you know he is expected a big presence on the uh, court, a lot of experience there. And then that Merrimack team ended up winning the Northeast Co uh, Conference Championship, where Reed was named the tournament MVP. So obviously he knows what it's like to play under those bright lights. Another guy, another forward I want to talk about is fifth-year senior DJ Burns, transferring in from Murray State. Over last season, he averaged 8.8 .8 points per game and was eighth in the Missouri Valley Conference in rebounds per game, coming in with 6.6 .6 and led all of Murray State in total rebounds, 212. Like you said, those three guys that are returning are Brandon Rush, John Lovelace Jr., and Tommy Frieda. So really, that core from last season is gone, but with all these new players, you know, you can't really truly replace that talent, but the roles that play them, obviously, we're looking for contributions there. Brandon Rush in the uh, Horizon League second team in the preseason, so he's making a look a big, Im making looking to make a big impact for the the guys this year. As for the matchups to start the season, uh, they have the season opener Lafayette, Louisiana against the Raging Cajuns on Monday, November sixth. That'll start the men's season. Uh, the Raging Cajuns are picked to finish fifth in the Sun Belt for this season. 
And then afterwards, the big one against Big Blue. November 10th, the team travels to Ann Arbor, Michigan to take on Michigan University for their second game of the season. Huge game for the Penguins, getting some good exposure on the Big Ten Network against one of the uh, Power Five teams in our league. Their home opener coming back to the Bigley Center November 17th, facing Utah Tech University inside the Bigley Center from the Western Athletic Conference. They're picked to finish in 11th, last in their conference. Why she's looking to put some dirt in their eyes, Caleb? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, Coach Calhoun himself personally coming in as his seventh season as head coach, looking for his 100th win as a YSU coach. So, really, everyone likes round numbers. And, yeah, last night, YSU, both the men's and women's basketball team, did host a little bit of a costume contest, a three-point contest, a dunk contest, if anything. I think you and I should have been in there because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a shooter. We would have won the whole freaking thing, Caleb. Anyway, that is about all we have here for you today. We're going to send it back to John and Taziah, please. I am really tired. Let's go home. See you, chumps. You guys are just too cool. Thanks again to Freshly Squeezed and Bully Lux for really previewing the, men, the men's basketball team and what their season will start here in November. And that all is all the time we have today here on Penguin Rundown on a spooky, scary rendition don't forget to follow us on Instagram and X at Penguin Rundown 1. I'm John Ostapowitz. And I'm Cezai Howard. And as always, stay safe, Penguins.